Hello everybody. Uh, today we will talk a little bit about uh, the competences. Who of you already using standard Moodle core competences? Few of you, okay. But today, and we will present our challenge uh, which we solved successfully and now continuously improving it is about uh, the different way how we develop it, the competences framework on the quizzes and how our client uh, imagined that can be used and we successfully implemented that. Shortly, I am Paulus Nomgodas. My experience in the education sector is more than 15 years. Uh, started from uh, junior developer until the premium Moodle partner and passionate about education sector and how it can be better and better. And my colleague, co-founder uh, of C Vextor and now position CTO, and together we will present this uh, journey. Little bit, uh, just in beginning of September, we became a premium partners in Estonia. So now we covering all three Baltic countries, but have some clients in other uh, countries as well and successfully expanding having some medals and uh, some activities in educational sector associations and pushing the education from different sides. So in general, what is idea, what's about is to create the plugins which can enhance the quiz functionality because uh, as you know, standard Moodle uh, competences uh, focuses on activities but our client wanted to somehow uh, check and ensure that during the quiz each question can collect some information about uh, the specific knowledge and if you answer correct you gaining some marks and in the end you can get some competence level of the ex existing one. And so we created during the project two plugins. One is competence assessment register, local plugin and uh, the report. As, as always one thing is to administrate everything, another is to allow end user system uh, Moodle administrator to easily check what is happening because uh, as we're doing in a lot of our projects with Moodle as a platform we automating a lot of things and allowing our clients to uh, minimize the manual work and just uh, focusing on creativity as a lot of presentations mentioned and uh, the possibility to just check how is happening and uh, the structure which we created and uh, with the client was that uh, each competence can have sub competences and drilling down it uh, goes to the specific skill which uh, must be uh, uh, achieved so if in graphical sample you can see that uh, the, there is a sample of uh, uh, protecting devices uh, uh, competence and the specific competence uh, is uh, uh, related to the specific question and uh, then you add this question to the quiz you and the student go through the quiz he can achieve this uh, competence uh, part and now my colleague will little bit show how it goes in life because uh, uh, the project was implemented in about two months, in May, June. Now it launches in uh, five universities in Latvia. And now with this uh, uh, client, we're uh, working on analysis and uh, new requirements to launch the second version, which will be more, will more focus on a graphical interface of charts, which you know will in plans uh, to in general to be in the Moodle. So more and more uh, to visualize how everything goes. So go ahead, Matas. Yeah, so hello. Uh, so I will show you from technical side and from the functionality how it looks in the Moodle. Uh, so I will go step by step how it looks and how the user can 
the administrator can create all the frameworks and then uh, students take the quizzes and sees the report. Um, teacher can also see uh, more uh, explained reports about the competencies the students uh, reach. So basically it's uh, like my colleague said, it's, it has uh, two types of uh, plugins. But firstly, you need to create the competences framework, and it's based by uh, uh, question tags. Uh, it's core core Moodle functionality. You just creating the competences like the tags of the questions, uh, and the, you create the hierarchy of the um, competences based by numbers, and you just. Uh, add the numbers of the hierarchy in which level this um, uh, competence is. After this, uh, you uh, then you created all the competences. Then you go to our uh, competences assessment rule uh, list register, and there you just uh, assign, uh, create the rules of the competences, which competences. Uh, uh, students will reach uh, which competence level the students will reach. Uh, you just create the rule of the ranges of the of the gained um, uh, points of the of the answer at the uh, quiz question. So before this, you after you create the tags, you create the question and you assign them to the specific questions. Like example, you have. Um, some like example security um, competence and to gain this uh, security first level competence uh, uh, this tag is assigned to five uh, questions like example and if the students answers all these five answers right he will uh, reach uh, top level of the competences uh, and the system knows which is the top level by these rules which you can create and you just assign the uh, range from to and the level name of the competences or level number you can assign uh, and you can assign some feedbacks after the student uh, reach this level of competences in the report he will see this uh, kind of information. Uh, other uh, assessment rule list is uh, the change uh, changes uh, assessment rules. Then uh, our functionality could uh, in the report student and the teacher could see the changes of his uh, competences because it's based on the quizzes and the questions. And the student takes first uh, quiz and uh, reach some competences. After this, he can uh, access other uh, um, quiz and again uh, check his uh, knowledge and answer some questions. And after this, uh, this we can see if the, he changes his uh, a competence level is uh, if he goes up or down of of his competence based on this question. So also you can create the changes, uh, some feedback for the student after if his level is up or on down and you can write some uh, feedbacks for him uh, about these changes uh, for him. Uh, how it looks in the course, like I said, it, at the moment uh, it works uh, uh, for, it could work for one or two tests. Uh, two tests is needed for the change to, to see if uh, any changes is in his competencies. And uh, our plugin is based on the activity for the report. So if a student takes the quiz after a successful completion, he can access the competences assessment report to see his uh, competences he is rich. And after he takes the second uh, quiz, he can uh, access the change assessment report also and how it looks in the report. So in the report, we can see uh, for a student, this is an example, uh, a student uh, take, take, took the test and we see his competences uh, after the quiz completion. He, he can see his report and he, which competence, which level he's reached and 
some feedback uh, about this level uh, and the hierarchy of the competencies framework. So the system just sees the level based on the rules uh, we created for, for that. Uh, the teacher also could see the group report of the, all the st students in the course. Uh, how uh, each student, uh, which uh, competence uh, uh, they have. So you can look at the report, download the report in different formats. Uh, so it's, uh, this report is only for the teachers to, to analyze the data. Uh, and it, this changes, like I said, it's based on the two tests separately, he, then he completes it. Uh, and the change report is, looks like this. Uh, also, we see that in table uh, the levels and like example, we see that uh, uh, this student uh, uh, changed his uh, level, like example, protection and personal data from first level to second level. He gained plus one level. Uh, there is some re uh, feedback about this change for, for this specific student. And also we have a group report also of the changes of of all uh, students in the course. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. And. Uh, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Ah, you want to take a photo? Yeah. Okay. And uh, yes, this project was funded from a uh, European Union. And as we mentioned, uh, after successful test of the first version, now in the progress of the second one. And the client with BDA help, it's a, our direct uh, client which we're working for, uh, plan it to work uh, further because it's interesting thing and they seeing the potential in that. So thank you yeah. and we have questions. Are there any questions? I'm interested in the maintainability of this. So um, we're, we use competencies with a few of our clients and not so much of a big, big issue to get the competencies in initially, but the maintenance cost of maintaining a competency framework around a question bank can be considerable and it's probably not something that the client considers upfront that there's gonna be an ongoing cost to that. And I'm wondering if that was considered in your project. Uh, yes, we're considering and planning to have it, but as I said, it is in a quite early stage. It is just a first version, but uh, they see more benefits to invest money and support it versus not doing nothing and just go with the standard things. Okay, thank you.